All right, so here is where we stopped. Uh, obviously, intermolecular forces between neighboring molecules, not what you just saw there. So let's take a look at them, and we're going to go now from our uh, weakest dispersion. Dispersions are the weakest type of intermolecular forces, and these are temporary induced dipoles, okay? And let's, let's take a look at that. What a temporary, which means, of course, it lasts for a little while, and then it doesn't. It, you get rid of it. Induced means it's caused. Somehow it's caused to happen. And a dipole obviously is two poles. And so dispersion forces are temporary. They're induced. Something causes them to happen. And it's because of, and obviously they do have two poles. Now what a dispersion force is this? Let's say you have an atom. And again, it doesn't matter what it is. But let's see, you have your protons in the middle, which are positively charged. And then around there you have your electrons, okay? And I'm not showing those as though they're kind of um, all electrons. That's just kind of the, the, the uh, orbital that they might be in. So you might have an electron here and then, then one here and then one here and then one close or whatever it might be. Okay, so you have electrons floating around the nucleus. Now what happens is, and, and let me now kind of separate that and let's draw that one more time here. I'll draw... Um, we got our protons, and then I've got my orbital, okay? So we have electrons all around. Now what happens is, as another atom, let's say it's the same thing, could be something like a, in neon, let's say we have neon, obviously neon would have your 10 protons and mostly 10 uh, electrons, but as this one, this neon atom, which has the electrons moving all around the nucleus, starts to fly by, right? Because your electrons are moving around, mostly in gas, excuse me, your atoms are moving around in gases. As they move by one another, so as this second one here moves by the first one, what's going to happen is there's going to be a temporary induced dipole. And the best way of drawing that is kind of like this. So notice we have our red one. And now I'm going to kind of draw it over here. And as this black one moves by it, as this black one moves by the red one, the protons, and again, let's say that it's running right by it here, the electrons on this black one are going to attract to the protons on the red one. So notice that we have the now basically your electrons are moving all around. Well, what can happen is it's almost like the electrons, as it moves by one, it kind of gets attracted to the protons. So because of course these these are not these particles are not stationary; they're not just in the middle. So what happens is the electrons, which were and again I drew three. Let's say over here, if I'm looking on this right side, these electrons, as this one moves by, they get attracted to that protons. And so they arrange themselves closer to that molecule. These obviously electrons, these electrons here in the red one, get pushed away. And so therefore we have our um, dipole, excuse me, dispersion forces. And a dispersion force is a temporary dipole. Notice this is temp partially positive. This side would be partially negative. Obviously on this black one we'd have this side where the electrons are as partially negative. The other side is partially positive. So here you can see that was attractive, the positives and the negatives. And I always say, you know, basically, it only happens for a little while. While this continues, and again, here's my black one, as it moves by, it may change where those protons and electrons are. It may like another side. So if these are my electrons, and think of my head as a proton here, my nucleus, my electrons are moving all around. As I go by something, I might be attracted to that protons on one thing. As I move past it, again, I'm kind of moving around, but then I might be attracted on the other side to where the protons might be on another atom. So it's temporary, it's induced. How is it induced? Because they're getting near each other. And it is a dipole, these positives and negative ends. It's very, very weak because obviously it's only temporary, but that's what dispersion forces are. We'll stop right there and then we'll move on to the next two. We only have two more I want to talk about, but that's kind of sometimes the more confusing one.
dispersion, weakest intermolecular, molecular, and again, it's between two neighboring atoms or molecules, and it goes away after it goes by something. So those are dispersion.